Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at a script I created to speed up exporting models from Maya to Marmoset Toolbag's normal map maker. Okay, so why do we need a script when you can just use the file menu to export files? I'm glad you asked. When exporting models out of Maya, there's two things I find really annoying. One, high poly sub D models look fine in Maya, but when they get into Toolbag, there's no subdivision. This means you have to convert the sub-D model to polygons first in Maya, export a copy, and then delete that copy if you want to make changes. Very annoying. Two, to get a clean bake for a game engine like Unreal, you've got to first triangulate your low-poly model before baking it in Toolbag. This means, again, you've got to save a copy, export it, then delete the copy if you want to continue working on it, which happens to me all the time. I like to change soft and hard edges and geometry as I work through my normal map bake. On top of that, if your low poly model is in separate pieces, it's painful to have to delete each piece and triangulate each piece each time you make a change. Again, very annoying. Great, so now we're thoroughly annoyed by our pipeline, so let's look at how the script helps. So how the script works is you create a group for your high poly meshes. I'm just gonna make a group, and then you drag all your high poly meshes in there. We will name this high poly, and you do the same for your low poly meshes. There's my low poly meshes there. I'm just going to hide the high poly stuff. So there's the low poly. The naming of the meshes doesn't actually matter, and neither does the name of the groups. It's just important that there's a bunch of files inside of a group. So we'll call this low poly as well, just to be clean. So you get two buttons on the shelf. You get a TB high and a TB low. And what you do is you select the group that you want to export, not the meshes and not the meshes and the group. It just has to be a single group with the meshes inside it. And since we know this is the low poly, you click the TB low and you browse to where you want it. I've already exported these, so I'm just going to overwrite. Say OK, yes. And then you do the same thing for the high. Again, you need to select the group, not the meshes inside of it. It doesn't matter if it's hidden or not. So TB high. And one other thing that you should note, which is important, is these are the settings here that you want to use if you're exporting from Maya uh, to the Marmoset uh, Toolbag Baker. Uh, you want to make sure that triangulation is off and also tangents and binormals are off. Um, and that might be confusing to turn this off, but uh, this is actually what Marmoset is expecting because it will use the MIKK tangent space, which is what you want to use uh, for most game engines these days, including Unreal. So we'll turn those off and we'll just overwrite the file, say yes. Cool, we're done with that. So let's jump over to Marmoset and see what we got. It's going to take a second to load up the file and boom, son! Fully sub -deed model with no fucking around inside of Maya. Basically one click to get this out of Maya. All separate pieces still, which is great. So we're ready to bake. Just hide this guy here and then we'll turn on the low. Same thing. Got the low, separate pieces. It's fully triangulated the way that you want it. And we are now ready to bake. All right, so we'll bake this now. Um, I just have it set to a really low resolution so you guys can see it bake. I've preset this up just to save time in this video. Uh, but if you guys don't know how to use the baker, uh, you can just check out the Marmoset website. There's a bunch of amazing tutorials that take you step by step. So I won't waste anyone's time re-showing that information that's already available. So let's just go to the, whoops, the baker settings. And I'm just going to set this back up to full res. And I will hit Control B to bake it. And there we go. Perfect bake out of Maya. Have to do like a little bit of cleanup for some skewed normals or whatever, but uh, generally speaking, really quick turnaround and pipeline. So you can see that's uh, that's the low poly and that's the normal map bake. All this detail is now mostly 2D. So that's nice. Now let's check out Maya again. Uh, so as you can see, it didn't create any weird temp meshes. It's still just like my main file that I'm going to work on and do edits. So I don't have to like delete a file or anything. All I got to do is do an edit here and then come in here and just click the low or do an edit to the high and come in and click the high. So we'll just demonstrate that now. So let's say I wanted to add something to the high. Sorry, I don't actually need these. So I have some spheres here. This is just a test. I'll just drag those into the high group. Let's hide the, the low so you can actually see it. I don't need that folder. Um, so let's pretend I wanted to add this detail uh, to my high poly. And so all I have to do again is select the high group, hit the TB high button, and then overwrite the file, overwrite the high. 
and then switch back into Marmoset, wait for it to reload. And uh, you can't see it here, but I have the high poly file. So I'll just hit control B to rebake. And boom, just that easy. So one click in Maya and we're back and ready to rebake the uh, detail that we just added. So you can see it's all clipped off. That's just because uh, my search distance needs to be adjusted uh, because I've added geometry that's farther out. So we'll just do that and rebake it in real time. So boom, there you go. One click, wash, repeat. I see a lot of people having all kinds of temp stuff in their scene for baking because they're worried about accidentally triangulating their main mesh or needing to go back and work on it later. But screw that shit. That's way too slow and painful. Uh, just click the magic button and done. One thing I should also note, to speed up the export of the high poly mesh, I delete the UVs for anything in that group. So just in case you actually want the UVs to come through for the high poly, just let me know and I'll modify the script and send you a new version. If you like this video and want to see more game art tips and tricks, please click the subscribe button. As usual, any links will be in the description. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments area. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.